when it is giving illumination we will read this voltage 1.933 volt assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel smd led or smt led how to find its working voltage current its data sheet if i want to test it with multimeter i will set multimeter to diode 0.6 volt most of the time i will unable to test it this led is giving indication most of the leds on this cluster panel will not test it to test it set multimeter to voltage i will use 1 kilo ohm resistor i connected to positive terminal i will take 12 volt positive positive 12 volt here and common wire at negative terminal it is showing 12 volt when it is open circuit now i will connect across this led yellow led 1.9 volt in one direction in this direction open circuit when it is giving illumination we will read this voltage 1.933 volt orange or yellow 1.9 volt red led 1.8 volt One point nine three, the same. One point eight red. One point eight red. One point eight two red. One point nine two. orange or yellow the same one point nine two one point nine two one point nine one the same this LED this led 1.973 green 1.973 blue led 3.74 blue led 3.73 the same 3.7 3.5 blue led from 3.5 and this voltage window so we determined the volt working voltage of these leds let's suppose This LED is working at three point seven volt. 
it is damaged it is blue color led if i will use this led that is consuming 1.8 volt when i will place it here that time this led here will receive 3.7 volt more voltage that time its current will increase the first problem it will become more and more bright the second problem it will damage very soon because its allowed current is now compromised each led has its resistance that is current limit resistor here are two resistors in parallel 821751 ohms and 820 ohms these are calculated resistors to provide draft voltage for these leds if i will replace this led with any other rated voltage value that time i need to rearrange the resistor value that is this one if you are considering this one here's 910 ohms 910 ohms 455 ohm resistor in parallel for this blue led because it is receiving 3.7 volts if i will use this one that time i need to recalculate the resistor value our led v supply minus v led divided by i led supply voltage 12 volt led voltage if the original led is 3.7 volt this one this is damaged i want to use this that is 1.8 volt 12 minus 1.8 divided by i led this amount we will find in the data sheet let's check data sheet now if you see this led just only here is cut mark no part number no any information on these leds let's remove it there is no part number no writing no part number just only a cut mark is here that is is pin identification to see its data sheet its current consumption we need to check its physical size code check its length in millimeter 3.48 2.82 3.5 mm 3528 SMD LED data sheet data sheet 3528 SMD LED open it I will download this data sheet. Data sheet three five two eight SMD LED. This is cut side. Here are its flux characteristics. This is size code three five two eight SMD LED red. This is wavelength and this is its view angle from this optical window. For this LED, its part number is four zero zero five. maximum 630 nanometer wavelength that is red color then 3528 size yellow led 4006 code this wavelength go to this chart 4005 code that is now part number red led forward current typical 20 milli ampere and maximum allowed current 25 milliampere and its working voltage 
to 2.6 volts. Then yellow LED 2 volt to 2.6 volt, blue LED 3.2 volt to 3.6 volt. In this pattern the green LED is 3.2 volt but in our case green LED is 1.9 volt. And this is its physical size. Cut side. This is pin number one and this is pin number two. In this side, two eight three five. Three point five millimeter by two point eight millimeters. This cut side is anode marking. So each LED is for twenty milliampere. The working voltage are different. For blue LED 3.2 volt to 3.6 volt, red LED 2 volt, yellow 2 volt, blue 3.2 volt, green 3.2 volt. In this way we can find the size code and the LED color with view angle and we can order using this number. And if we want to replace the existing LED with new number that time we need to recalculate the resistor value that are connected in series with that LED. If this video is informative give a thumb up. If you have any question please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.